Romans 13. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of Yahuwah. The powers that be are ordained of Yahuwah. Whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of Yahuwah, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will you then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and you shall have praise of the same. For he is the minister of Yahuwah to you for good. But if you do that which is evil, be afraid. For he bears not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of Yahuwah, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that does evil. Wherefore, you must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. For this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are Yahuwah's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render, therefore, to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, Honor to whom honor. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loves another has fulfilled the Torah. For this, you shall not break wedlock. You shall not kill. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not lust. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love works no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the Torah. And that, knowing the time, that now is high time to awake of sleep, for now is our Yeshua nearer than we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. But put ye on the Adonai Yehusha HaMashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lusts thereof.